All right, Shalom. Shalom. All right, first and foremost, we want to give our praises on and glory to Yahweh. Basham Yahushai, Basham Yahakodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of great mercy, and I surely do well. Citation to all the Akian that push in this world of being sincerity and truth. Uh, these are some of the brothers from Genesis Shinadad again coming to do a video through the spirit and power. Yahweh Shem Yahushai. All right, Yahweh is the heavenly father's son name. Yahushai is his um, um, Yahweh is the heavenly father name. Yahushai is his son name. All right, you know, this is just a little open forum, various topics. All right, because you know, we basically have nothing. You know, plan but, but you know, through the spirit and power, yeah, but Shem El Shai, hopefully, that every man is edified because hey, guess what? We're coming down to the last days and prophecies are being fulfilled. All right, you know, we we seeing a lot of things happening in, in with, throughout the world, you know, Venezuela, um, our team, um, Greece, within um, France, Yellow Vest, all right. We see any prophecies coming to pass, all right? So yeah, we are the prophets of Yahweh Shem El Shai. So we will make, make it known. Hey, give me um, Amos three seven and eight. All right, because hey, mysteries are revealed unto the meek, and the Messiah called called us, you know, to to go out there and to do His works, you know, to warn the people at the times to come. Right, and when it done, somebody give me a second edge just 15 this one. Right. This is Amos 3, verse 7. It says, Surely Yahweh power will do nothing but reveal it his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Yes, so the most I reveal any secrets unto the servants, the prophets. Because right about now, a lot of people out there they're in a docile state of mind. They're just studying things that are good. They're not the, the, the mind not fixed on Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, the mind not fixed upon the heavenly father, the mind only on the things that he would, all right, parties, boat rides, you know, elections, all right, um, when it's, when it's Christmas, to prepare for Christmas again, you know, all these kind of things, but the, the, the whole heart and soul not set upon the, the heavenly father, all right, go ahead. Read it on, it says, the lion had roared, who will not fear? Right, the lion had roared, who is that lion? All right, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, is the lion? All right, he had roared, you know, so people are supposed to be afraid because the time coming, because, hey, the Most High in heaven, he, he is angry, the way how the things are uh, the world is. The scripture said that, you know, the Most High, um, his name is Jealous, all right? All, all the nations of the earth, even his own people, Right, worshiping idols right about now. And the, the, the thing about it is, the Most High created heaven and earth for His glory, for His purpose. And you people serving wood and stone, dumb, dumb things that cannot see it, especially you Hebrew Israelites. All right, the scriptures say, even the Gentiles, they, they, they went off and um, worshiping idols, and that was the beginning of spiritual fornication. All right, you're supposed to get glory. glory on our own to Yahweh Hashem Yashai, which is the Heavenly Father. Okay. All right, finish the image and then go into it. Read it on, it says, Who will not fear? Yahweh power hath spoken. Who can put, who can but prophesy? Right, who, who but can prophesy? His prophets, right? Because he speak unto his servants, the prophets. All right, okay. from, from Moses, right? Hey, from Enoch, Moses, um samuel right the, the other prophets coming down these are the men that are supposed to hook on onto the prophets they are known as the voice of the most side or the words of the most side they, they they come as as also the body parts of yahweh shai hamashiach because yahweh shai is the word of the heavenly father all right so, all right this is um leviticus 26 and 1 it says Ye shall make you no idols, no graven image. Mm -hmm. Neither rear you up a standing image, neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it. Can, you have a precept, because guess what? A lot of people, they, they, they like to come on the Hebrews, they like to turn and say, so wait that all the thing, you know, they say, you know, no similitude, whatever the case is. But, you know, the, the thing about it, what we use, the, the illustration for nobody ain't saying that is how the son of the Messiah actually looks his the whole facial facial features whatever the case is 
but according to the scripture we make a depiction with the dark skin with the red eyes and with the, the bully hair right to, um, as an illustration for, for, for teaching to teach people this is how the scriptures say that the son of the heavenly father look but we don't we never make nobody hey a lot of men in great mills don't have talent all right it has singers it are it are um masons it have electricians it are carpenters right it are men who could do stone work it are men who is who strives that men who could sing or different hey, all these kind of things but no one in within the whole hebrew israelite community i should say because not even men from iuic jocc when i play mad and sculpt an image all right of the son of the living power and right up all right and bow down to it but you 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 christians all right and you you elamites you elamites you actually carve wood and stone paint it deck it with silver and gold you write up and bow down to it and serve it all right but we don't do that shit. all right we don't do that Hey, so like you have to uh, uh, sit on, you know, little shock to her by cases. Alright? So, yeah. Alright? It's just for illustration sake. Okay? Oh, I'm not sure. Alright, let me see. This is what I'm doing, man. I'm doing five. And, uh, chapter six. And verse 17, it says, Also I said, Watchmen over you, saying, Happen to the sun will trumpet. But they said, We will not happen. Yeah, the Most High said, said Watchmen. And Watchmen are the prophets of the Most High. Alright, they, they will speak the words of the Heavenly Father unto you. But this is where also faith will come in. Because we come in the name of Yahweh Shem El Shai. We come in the name of the Lord. That's right. Alright? We don't come in the name of uh, of no other false god because guess what a lot of you people you know they say but oh yeah how are you is he because we know jesus and that kind of thing all right and we will teach not to say that we don't have an answer for everything that we teach the most high put it in our in our hearts all right that we have an answer for everything we teach you all right we come in the name of Yahweh Hashem El Shai. And when you ask who is he, who, who is Yahweh Hashem El Shai, we will plainly tell you, Yahweh Hashem El Shai, he's the God of Abraham, he's the God of Isaac, he's the God of Jacob, he's the God of Israel, he's the God of David, the God of Solomon, the God of Elijah. All right? And then you'll say, but how come you never see this in the scriptures? Because we'll, we'll ask you the question now. What language the scriptures was written in? All right? And if it is that you answer us correctly and say Hebrew, Latin, and Greek, which Hebrew, right, is the, um, the, the language that the Torah was written in, right, coming down to um, Eba and onto um, Afaxad, Abraham, Isaac, and, and, and Jacob, they spoke Hebrew, meaning what the language basically had, had passed, right? And we will teach you the Hebrew, that the Hebrew only have um, 22 pictographic um, letters within it, all right and that e and u and j are modern day letters so you have to do the calculation or you have to do the maths now you have to discern you have to pick all right but hey guess what that these men may be speaking the truth and we'll show you the tetragrammaton and we'll line up the letters the tetragrammaton y h w h to to the the, the, the literal song that adam gave them in the book of genesis yeah ha waha all right and it did that when it combines certain words it have a, a certain meaning hebrew itself ha, have a certain technique with it there there are throat letters there are tongue letters there are um, teeth letters and there are lip letters all right all of these is is, is basically they, they come together for, for, for a certain meaning all right and we will show you that the name of the lord is Yahweh. going back to the tetragrammaton and not jehovah because a lot of you Jehovah Witnesses have in your memorial today, which is false. Passover is in March. All right? Okay. Good. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 42, verse 8. It says, I am the Lord, that is my name, 
can. All right. And Lord, there's in full caps, all caps. Full caps. Can. When you, anytime you look up the word Lord on a on a concordance, whether it be Strong's concordance, um, a normal Bible concordance, right? So long as the, 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 the word Lord is within full caps, all right, that is the tetragrammaton. That is actually the Lord's name there. It's not Lord. Lord just goes back to breadwinner, all right? The, the, the word that um, the Jesuits, all right, um, or the Jewish community basically exchange there because going back to the commandment in Genesis, um, so like you know, Genesis in Exodus 20, thou shalt not call the Lord thy God in um, name in vain. And the book of Malachi, chapter 1, the last um, verse says that the name of Yahweh is dreadful amongst the heathen. Yeah. So the Jewish state know that they cannot call the name of the Heavenly Father. That is why they call him Hashem, which means the name. All right. But the name there in full caps is Yahweh, which means he exists, he be. All right. He's always there. He has no beginning. He has no end. And these nations cannot really call upon the name of Yahweh Shem Only the um, the Hebrew Israelites, because he gave he gave Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and the children of Israel his name to call upon. Can you read Jeff Bolam on the Eden? Can. Let's see what everything here. It says, move on, um, Isaiah 42. Move on. It says, um, my glory, my glory. Will I not give to another neither my praise to give images? Can his glory he will not give to another? Alright, because these other gods cannot do what he can do. These other gods, well, people written, written books for their gods. Alright, to give their gods glory. Alright, but the most I use writers to write his book. Alright, and he, he gave a, 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 a good distinguishment. Of how our God supposed to be. Give me Isaiah 41 verse um 23. You could start at verse 22. All right. 41. Come. 23. Yeah. Start at 22. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 22. It says, "Let them bring them forth and show us." Give me two verses. Uh, see what 20 is. 20. It says that they may see and know and consider. And understand. 21. 21. Go. Uh, this 21. It says, Proceed your course. Produce, produce your course. Go ahead. Said the Lord, Bring forth your strong reason. Say the king of Jacob. Yeah. Produce your course. All right. Explain your course. Come, 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 come forth with your strong arguments. All right. Said the, 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 the king of, of, um, of Jacob. All right, says the king of Jacob, bring, bring forth a strong course, bring forth a reason. All right, go ahead. Come on. Let me argue. Let me debate on this thing. Go ahead. 22, it says, let them bring, bring them forth and show us what shall happen. It says what? Let them bring forth and show us what shall happen. Let them bring forth and show us what will happen or what happened. What will happen? What 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 shall happen? Right? What shall happen? So that that future tense he talking about. What shall happen? Let them say what will not happen before it happen. Let them prophesy before say. Yeah. You understand? Go ahead. Yeah, can <laughs> put them to the test, but all right, please say. Yeah. All right, go ahead. You know what it says? Let them show the former things that they be that we may consider them and know the latter the latter end of them or declare us things for to come right so let them show the former things the past you know you know how the most i show the past as we was explaining last night on the highways and the byways adam never write the book of genesis enoch never write the book of genesis all right um seth never write the book of genesis cain uh, Methusiel, Noel, um, Noah, Salah? Ezra, Ezra, all right. These people never write the, the, the book of um, Genesis, all right. But guess what? When the Mosai spoke to Moses, he told Moses the beginning, all right, and the end. 
So he said, let us show, let, because no other book tell you about the foundation of the earth, how the earth was brought together. The separation of the elements, all right? When, when the earth was with form, with all form and void, and the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yashai walked upon it, no other book tell you about that, other than the, the holy scriptures, all right? This is, um, this is Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 9. It says, remember the former things of old. Remember the former things of old. Past things, go ahead. For I am power and there is none else. Right. He has power and there is none else. His glory he will not give to another. All right. So the most I, one of the things the most I does show is the characteristics of our God. All right. This is how our God is supposed to be. All right, go ahead. I am power and there is none else like me. Good. Declaring the end from the beginning. Declaring the end from the beginning. So the most I don't tell you, watch me. You see some thousand years of the earth? This is what's going to happen. And you know, when it happened, he, he showed examples before. Right? When he told Abraham, hey, um, know for sure thy seed shall be a stranger in a strange land for 430 years and it should, your, your children going and be afflicted. And that record passed down onto um, Moses and them. Because guess what? Moses, um, Abraham would have tell Isaac. Isaac would have tell Jacob. Jacob would have 12, tell his 12 sons. His 12 sons would have tell um, their children and their children and their children and their children and their children. So it would have been a, um, a testimony, all right, onto them. And they, they realize it, so they say, but wait now, this thing really happened. We in slavery, we get oppressed. So he also said that we're gonna be delivered. Somebody can help to deliver us. So so they, they would have knew that something coming to you know. Go ahead. If I so could just say too, I was watching the news here and the show that um something was going on with the um abs and them over there. And basically they were saying that that place which probably was dealing with that thing but um Abraham was buried. And hey, Ishmael, Ishmael was in Abraham burial. So Ishmael had was a passing down throughout he, he yeah, you know, line going down the line. So hey, I believe that you know it could be this set thing because you know, he, Ishmael was indeed there. Okay. Just like you say we handed down um we were saying just now yeah, that yeah. you know yeah. J, um, Abraham tell um Abraham tell Isaac. Isaac Isaac tell Jacob and going down the road, you know. Verbally, verse ten it says, "Declare the end from the beginning, and from ancient times the things that are not yet done." So, hey, you know, you know, one of the important things about the Messiah doing that you learn to trust him, all right? Because he wore above his name as this brother, right? For the, he, the, one of his favorite precepts. Because if it is, I tell you here, where is this scene? Give me five years to do something. Again, your limit. Give me five years, and when that five years expire, you come. Boom. I do what I say I'm going to do for you. You ask me to do something again, I say, guess what? Give me next week. Boom, I come and do it for you. You ask me to do something again for you. Why tell you, yeah, what? I'm going to do something for you tomorrow. Boom, tomorrow come. Every time I kept to my word, so you know what? You learn to trust me. So the years come and the years pass, and I, hey, only the prophets really and truly could see, see the prophecies coming to pass. That's right. So when he declared the end from the beginning, the blood moon, a lot of people say, hey, the most I do, do he do exist and then kind of thing. But I, 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 as a testimony for me, I when I was coming into um, the truth before the year, at the same year I came into the truth was the first blood moon I ever saw. I said, by this, Kirin, and hey, that wasn't even my con um, my convention. I always had a feeling, right, that, that the most I real. All right? I mean, I was, I was fighting spirits over the cases. I could have jumped into Egyptology and all kind of madness. But just somehow the most I put a block in my mind from these kind of things because guess what? These things to me never made sense. All right? Yes, sir. I want to have to finish on the piece of that I had before. Yeah. Yeah. Before we done. 
the idea for the one and a half. So, you know how we were done? Uh, uh, 23. But it says, show the things that are, show the things that are to come hereafter, that we may know that ye are gods. Show the things that are to come that we may know that ye are gods. Which are? We don't care what congregation or Christianity you're from. We don't care what religion you're from. These other books, these other gods, cannot prophesy. You, you, you people who say you are Christians, basically all you do is steal the words of Yahweh Hashem, Hashem, but you cannot break down the scriptures. You don't have no understanding of the scriptures to actually teach. Because a lot of you Christians do not know what is the, the mark of the beast. And the only saw the majority of you people know what is the mark of the beast is because you people listen to great millstone and men that who are Hebrew Israelites. You people don't fulfill prophecies. All right, go ahead. You know what it says? Ye do good or, e or do evil. Ye do good or do evil. Do good or do evil. Do good or do evil. Right? The scripture in Luke chapter 6 says, Not one of these gods can even put to death one that offend him. Hmm. So, so a god ain't supposed to be like, Oh, I will forgive him, I love him. No! Mother, you disrespect me, you got dead. Dead, them are go dead when the angel has hey, death are go If you disrespect a king, you can be put to death. You know what I mean? So much less a, 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 a power who created the heavens and the earth. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to know your place. Can't. Or you can, so then, hey, the, 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 the people and them who go in and the bulls who shit on these gods' head and, and the people who go hey, all they now basically come a man, all they out all they head. Can't. So the king higher than the god? Awesome. Hey, it is true that say, curse not the king. How much less he that curses his God shall be put to death. Hey, a Benjamite did curse the king of uh, Israel, which was David at the time. And David loved him. But hey, it, 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 the scripture said, don't curse the king. Hey, what, what, was the, what, was the end, what was the end result? I forget that. After man. David died, David even tell his son, hey, see that man, don't forget he. You know? And Solomon showed him mercy, but what was the end result? Hey, he can still have to go still have to die. They put him to death. So the most I kept his will. Don't, don't, don't curse the king. Mm. That's a good example. You, 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 you man died with this. And you still come and receive judgment for the things you did. Okay. Don't curse the king. Curse the king. Oh. So how much less the God huh. that, that put the king in the power, see? How much more the God? How much more the power? Because, hey, oh, Selak, are you going to, you going to say something? No, no that's not something. Oh, Selak, oh, so like, I was going to say too, you know, because we actually, all flesh is nothing but grass before the no side. So you cannot, you cannot think about cursing here, and this is something he saw us do. And lot of you, 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 you Hebrew Israelites following after the cursing, that is blasted. Dilapidated, vile, vile, stinking, dirty, wet, blasted dog. And it have more adjectives you could add. Uh, this one, they're going to have a quick piece of your for this. Psalm 75, I think it's right. It says, it says, lift not up your horn on high, speak not with a stiff neck, for promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west. Not from the south, hmm. but from power is the judge. He put it down and set it up. So if he put it down and set it up kings, and hey, we sure did that the king curse not the king. Then how come it how come then you're expecting to curse the power who created the heaven and the earth and in feel no hurt? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs>
Alright, that's something. They bring it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, it's still like, yeah, it's still like, yeah. This is um Psalms 96 verse 4. It says, For Yahweh is great mm-hmm. and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. All gods are meaning. Yeah, I was going For all the gods of the nations are idols, but Yahweh made the heaven. Right, there's a jump over to Psalms 97 and 9. It says, For thou, Yahweh, art high above all the earth, thou art exalted far above all gods. Exalted far above all gods because while well, his words, his words is actually trustworthy. You understand? Right. Scripture says, Had any ever trusted in Yahweh and had been confounded? I seen the, the, the um somebody get up for me in Psalm 35 now by the Kasha. You know what I want? Come, you might need more be quick on the joy that. Um I have been old and know that I am young and never see the arm um, righteous for sitting on the show and they don't do it. Psalm 35. Can we remember the verse? Alright? Because you see the um and somebody gave me Psalms 12 and 6. Right? Hey and Hey, as I said before, when we open, when we open this this um lesson, you know, that that is, that is the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. We we have no topic on him. And hey, I show men being edified through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai through the through these brothers here. Because why? It's not our words, but Yahweh's words to feed him hopefully there. Yeah. And we hoping to be a part of the hopefully there. Because yeah. we fear Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and we trust in him. Nehu one verse seven says, "In Musa, I know him that trusts in him." You understand? Yeah, that, that is all we have. We are trusting our Bashan and Shai. Psalm 7 and 6 and Psalm 3 and 5 come. We go to our own. I see you are just. The new Psalms? I don't know. Yeah, so this is Psalm chapter 12 and 6. It says, The words of the Lord Yahweh are pure words. The words of Yahweh Bashan and Shai are pure words. I mean, what the clean. Alright, there is no filth. There's no guile in the mouth of Yahweh Hashem and Shai. There's only truth. That's right. All right. The ancient prophets, our forefathers, had tried the words of Yahweh. Yahweh Shai himself. All right. This is why Yahweh Shai trusted. This is why Yahweh Shai was put to death. Hey, it pleased. It, it pleased Yahweh Shai actually to. He was frightened. No, don't get tired. Yahweh Shai was frightened, but please him to actually do the will of your father say I, I come to do thy will oh power you understand because why who knows the conversation they had up there in heaven I was not there but basically like if you think about it it's like both of them having that conversation and say hey you know what if you go down and you die for your virgins I will give you such and such these are the things that belong unto you that's why Yahusha said anything that belongs to the father belongs to me and Yahweh Shai trusted in Yahweh. That is why, hey, though, though he was bruised, though he was battered, he, he, he lifted, he opened up his mouth. Like a lama, a sacrificial lamb, he was put to death. Don't feel Yahweh Shai was sad and Yahweh Shai was broken hearted. But this is the thing that Yahweh loved. A broken and a contrite arm um, spread. You understand? And guess what? Matter of fact, somebody give me that real quick. Isaiah 57 and verse 14. You understand? The most I love the humble man. Alright? That is why, hey, you have to kick pride far, uh, far away. I mean, it is coming. Pride is coming. But trust me, you have to kick that way, boy. You have to hate pride, boy. You understand? Pride is the most dangerous sin. Whether I cartoon fiction or even anybody tell you, pride is the most deadliest sin. Even, even in the movie Shazam. Yeah. Try to turn you up, boy. You have to get rid of that, boy. You understand? Give me the eyes here. Isaiah chapter. Still hold on to the Psalms, eh? Alright, yeah, give me the eyes here. Isaiah 57, verse 14. says, And shall say, Cast ye up, cast ye up, prepare the way, take up the stumbling block out of the way of my people. Good. For thus said the, the high and lofty, one. and lofty one that inhabited. We don't have 14 for the 
Isaiah chapter 57 verse 14 it says right. and they and shall say cast ye up right. cast ye up to clear the way take up the stumbling block out of the way of my people take up the stumbling block I pride that is the biggest stumbling block any man has to do with pride that mother you call pride the spirit of pride that is the biggest stumbling block wisdom and all that's been pride don't get tired men 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 in the should fight that <coughs> you understand pride is the biggest battle they have that spirit pride you understand what 15 says for thus said the high and lofty ones just say the high and lofty one you know what the word lofty goes back to it goes back to pride but just say the high and lofty one just say the high and exalted one which is your easy honest one could be proud nobody else can be proud who the fuck are you? you never create heaven on earth you never you cannot govern the whole world with the palm of your hands would he send well, why why earth and ashes proud why Esau Edom proud why tutors are Israel proud why is um more proud Elam proud you are nothing to be proud for you never do shit. Damn. the scriptures say why why the um the axe Moses itself against he that you 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 either might feel you is the ones that took down Israel the most I took down Israel the most I made the most base men ab um exalted above the earth you never do shit. Yeah, how about Shemi is the one who does this, does this thing? I'll bring you to the one back again here. Where? This is Psalm chapter 75. And verse 5. It says, outside of verse 4, it says, I said unto the fools, deal not foolishly, and to the wicked, lift not up the horn. Lift not up the horn. You're exalting yourself. Horn goes back to rulership. Well, yeah. it says, lift not up the horn on high, mm -hmm. speak not with a stiff neck, <laughs> for promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west Good. nor from the south. No, from the south. But power is the judge, he put it down one and set it up another. Okay. Musa is one that does all these things. He is the high and lofty one, the high and exalted, the high and proud one. Scripture says, I even I am he, and there's no power besides me. Who shall be my equal? And who shall he liken me unto? Yahweh shall say, My father is greater than I am, that the bones holy trinity. Alright? Good. Um, <coughs> 15. 15. Yeah. 15. It says, For thus said the high and lofty one, word that inhabited um, eternity, whose name is holy, whose name is holy, separate, word. I, I with him also that is of I, I dwell with him. I dwell mm -hmm. in the high. And the holy place Good. with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit that is what he dwell with him that is of a contrite and a hum what humble, humble spirit. spirit and a humble spirit all right mean he broken he has bruised that is why he had to bruise yahweh shai he, he hey yahweh shai basically was on a level with the most high but in the flesh he had to, to break and bruise him right that that Yahweh Shai himself will know that a hey, there's only one. So nobody at nobody at all will get a thought in the head. All right, go ahead. Go on. It says to receive the spirit, the humble, and to receive the heart of the contrite ones. Can with a hey, even being as a man, let me tell you something. One of the most precious things in a man eyesight is a humble woman. When, when you tell a woman to do something and she ain't even grump and she go and do what you tell she to do, trust me, believe how much you're going to fall in love with that woman. Because why? She she pleasing, she not, she not getting here. The scripture says a woman should be a pillar of rest, a comfort. 
So when you actually tell a woman here what? Turn left and then turn right. And she ain't even argue. She turn left and she turn right. When I fall in love, the same thing with the most side. And she don't let it be it is. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the same thing. The scripture says I, I have likened the daughter is your own top company and a delicate woman. You know a delicate woman, a soft, tender woman. You could shout after she and watch me. She ain't shouting back, she could bow she head, cry, whatever the case is, and she girl go and fix my porridge or whatever the case is. Watch me. Any other woman? Go and think twice. Now, my son, good. No, verse 16. I said, hey, and this is why the Mosai I love Abraham. This is why the Mosai I called, um, love Moses. He said, in everybody in the whole earth, Moses was the most humble man. David, a man after my own heart. Why David was humble? You know why? David do shit, you know. But after David got a little warning here, you know what David find himself on? On his fucking knees. If you find yourself on your knees repentant, King David was always repentant. That is why the one to that Israel going and have that same spirit that King David had. Repentant. You understand? Go ahead, finish it off. The 16 it says, For will, for I will not contend forever, neither will I be. Over 50. Over 50. Yeah. Verse 15 is for, for thus said the high and lofty one well, that, the, that inhabited eternity. eternity, whose name is holy, I will dwell in the high and low holy and, and holy place with him also that is of a contrite spirit. Right, so that is why Yahushai Hamashiach sitting on the right hand and the most right about him, because he's humble. Right, and what Yahushai going to do? Well, to receive to revive to revive the spirit with the humble of the humble of the humble or, and to receive revive so that can revive the heart of the contrite ones the heart of the contrite ones are the most that the ones that the most have been put the mark on to be exempted from judgment which is the 144,000 right and from the 144,000 there also will be the one third that, that they, they're going to be humble. Because guess what? The 144,000 going to be the most humble men upon the earth. And it's going to have women that the most high going to basically use to, to, be, to be humble. All right? So the most, the <coughs> Yahushai, the reason why Yahushai, he said, I, I came not to destroy the law, neither the prophets, but to fulfill. When, when, this, when I read the scripture in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, right, where he's talking about the veil with Moses, all right, when he when going to it, Yahushai had to teach the, 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 uh, the disciples who then became the apostles the law. He had to break it down because he come in the volume of the book. He's the words of Yahweh Hashem Yashai. So he's the one who had to teach how to be humble, how to have faith. This is why the Apostle Paul said, Be ye followers of me, even I am, as I am a follower of Yahushai Hamashiach. Because righteousness don't come from the law, but in having faith in Yahushai Hamashai. So guess what? You'll walk like how Yahushai walk. You'll open up your mouth as, as, as a lamb to in the slaughter. You understand? Anybody have any precepts? Verse 17 is the sacrifice of the Most High. I have broken the spirit. Mm -hmm. If broken and contrite heart, who will be no power, God will not despise. <coughs> God will not despise. Scripture say, the beginning, pride, uh, is when one. You have it? Go ahead. Will you look up so that I can tell you? Verse 17. It says pride was not made for men, mm -hmm. nor fierce anger for them that are born of the woman. God, pride was not made for men. It's about scripture also say that jealousy wasn't um woman wasn't supposed to be jealous neither. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, because somebody asked me that question. I say, well, girl, it has certain things that trickle down. Because 
you know, we became pride. The pride was made for us. You understand? Um, the Mosai, the Mosai proud. He he extended jealousy onto us. All right. The jealousy wasn't extended onto women. Women not supposed to be jealous. You understand? But um, it says that what um, we did over pride or so at the time. This is Pride was not made for men. Pride was not made for men. But we, no, we are for them that are born of women. Right, because we're supposed to be humble. We're not supposed to, you know, buck up. We're not supposed to be there on us with All right. You know, that pride is when one when one was departed from his makeup. Pride is the day of sin. Uh, it's 12, it says for the beginning of pride is when one departed from the most high and his heart is still away from his name. And anytime you do that, you're calling death into your life. You know, son? Anytime you do that, you're actually calling death into your life. Yeah. It's Proverbs 29 and 23. It says, A man's pride shall bring him low, hmm. but honor shall uphold the humble spirit right. man pride shall bring him low because why he exalted himself the scripture said whosoever exalted himself shall be abased you understand so you become low finish it um move it over just the last part it says a man's pride shall bring him low right. but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit right honor goes back to like what um the hebrew would kabat right or or hawad which means uh strength so basically if you could endure when well, you're being strong right it, it will um is the last word of use it's great it shall work humble and spirit yeah humble and spirit you know my son yeah and you can tell us anybody look at our vision of solomon chapter five and please what have pride come with us? Hmm. And what good have written with our bond thing brought us? The whole nation is working at Tesla. Especially once we wake up. What had pride profited us? Scripture said Joshua has waxed fat. You understand? And kick, kicked against the um let me see if I can get Deuteronomy um 32 and verse 15. It says, um, but Joshua waxed fat and kicked. Thou art waxing fat, thou art grown thick, thou art covered with fatness. Then he forsook the most high which made him. So that's to show you when the scripture talk about becoming fat, you become proud, right? And lightly esteem the rock of his salvation. You understand how we went on, we went on with us after we be, became proud, after we waxed fat, after he waxed rich. Um, the scripture says in um, Jeremiah 2 verse 30, uh, we are lords, we come no more unto thee. We went on. What pride profit you? Slavery? Walking? You ever watch a goodbye, Uncle Tom? Oh, that is a good example. I take it in. I mean, I even tell you, we went on. <coughs> that, you know, we hope you're edifying towards you. We hopefully, like, as you say, the spirit and power, you are by You know, giving all praises and glory to Yahweh. The will on us the elders and the apostles of the most natural with the real salutation to the Akian that pushed this with all the insincerity and truth. All right, um, I want to say, Mawat La Babal, right, and um, Shalawa La Bakaria. Shalom. Shalom.